All right, guys, we are back in the truck again, and you know that what that means. We are headed to go check out in another amazing new construction community. Today, we are headed to Summer's Bend to go check out some construction by Woodside. These homes are absolutely fantastic. Woodside, as I've said before, is one of my favorite builders. The design is phenomenal. Uh, it's over the top compared to most of the other builders. So as you walk through these models, you're always wowed by the features that are inside of there. Um, not all of it's included, as we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to check that out. And this community is packed full of amenities. There are walking trails, nature preserves, pool, clubhouse, sports fields. This community is full of everything you could want. There's several builders here inside of Summer's Bend, which make it a, a great option because there's so many different floor plans to choose from. So you drive just down the street, find another builder, another floor plan. But as I mentioned, Woodside is just an awesome option. So can't wait to show them to you. Let's head out there and check it out. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Lewis, your local Temecula Valley Realtor, and we are here today to check out Blossom by Woodside at Summer's Bend. This is a fantastic community with a mid-range tax rate, uh, higher on the HOA side of things, which we'll talk about at the end of the video, so make sure you tune in all the way till the end. This community features one of my all-time favorite floor plans. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's head inside and check it out. All right, we are here at the plan one, the first model here at Blossom. We've got a three bed, two bath, 1,482 square foot. This is actually a single floor plan. Uh, it is on the upper level, so you've actually got some garages below. You'll walk straight in. We're gonna go upstairs and check it out. I think you're really gonna love it. Let's head inside. One of my favorite features to this specific model is this amazing balcony. Now you often find that most of these balconies are just a small rectangular space, but this one is an awesome square space that actually makes it feel like an outdoor living space. You can have an awesome sectional here, a barbecue, just a great place to hang out. favorite features in this floor plan is just the overall layout. It is above some garages and it's actually a pretty narrow layout in a narrow home, but it doesn't feel that way. This feels like some downtown San Diego living. It's a ton of fun. I think you will really enjoy it here. Next, let's check out the plan two here at Blossom. This is a 1,695 square foot, four bedroom, three bathroom, two story home. Let's head in and check it out. favorite features to this floor plan is that you get a full downstairs bedroom and bathroom combo making it great for that multi-generational living so just across the hall now you've got the full bathroom perfect for the in-laws or those that don't want to work with the stairs
favorite feature upstairs is this Jack and Jill bathroom. We don't see a ton of them in new construction, but check it out. Here we go. Next up is plan number three. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, 1,838 square foot, two story home. This is one of the big ones. Let's go head inside and check it out. One of my favorite features here is that this floor plan features dual masters. You actually have an upstairs and a downstairs master. So this one comes complete with its own walk-in closet, as well as an attached bathroom, making it a great space for some rental income or for the in-laws. My favorite feature upstairs here is in the master bedroom suite, we actually have a dual closet. You have a true his and hers closet, so your space is completely separate. You don't have to worry about his stuff getting in the way of your stuff or hers getting in the way of his. I think you're gonna like that feature. you've seen some of the absolutely beautiful homes at Blossoms at Summer's Bend by Woodside. Now I want to break down for you a little bit more about the community. Let's talk HOA, tax rate, what to expect with solar, upgrades, parks, amenities, sports fields, you name it. I want to talk about all of it so that you know exactly what to expect when you move here into this community. First up, let's talk about schools. If you're moving here with little ones or you have plans to have little ones, then schools are going to be important to you. And the number one thing to mention here is that the Temecula Valley School District is one of the top rated districts in the area. Deeply coveted schools, places that people actually want to send their kids to for public education if that's what you choose. And so let's break down where your kids will be going. First off, we've got Rancho Elementary. For middle school, we've got Margarita Middle School. And for high school, we've got Temecula Valley High School. Now, a great resource to do some additional research here, and I'm not gonna state it on this video because they do change over time, but check out greatschools.org. That's greatschools.org. It's a great resource to look at test scores, overall rankings, actual feedback from parents and students who have attended those schools, so it can really give you some good insight. But again, Temecula Valley as a whole, it's the best school district here in the area and everybody really wants to get their kids in there. So there are actually some pockets of Marietta that get to take advantage of Temecula schools and that's something that people get really excited about because of how great the Temecula school district is. Next up, let's talk about taxes and HOA. So it's important to look at these numbers. They may be boring to you, but your tax rate is going to affect your monthly payment based off of the home sale purchase price. So it's important that we know what that percentage rate is so you can help calculate that monthly payment for yourself as well as the HOA because that's going to impact your monthly payment as well and you need to weigh out, is the HOA payment actually worth the amenities that I'm getting for it? So let's break that down. The tax rate here at Blossom is actually 1.7%. So you're gonna take that purchase price and multiply that by 1.7% to find your yearly tax rate. And then when it comes to HOA, it's actually $340 a month. Again, we're gonna talk about what those amenities are a little bit later, so make sure you watch all the way till the end. Next up, I am sure you're absolutely dying to know what do these homes cost? So now we're going to break this down for you. It's important to note that I'm going to share prices with you here, but keep in mind that these change over time. So as homes are built, there's a base price, 
and they release each of these homes in phases. So there may be a block of, let's say 10 homes in phase one, they'll sell those and then they'll move on to the next phase and sell those and then move on to the next phase. It's basically just an easier way for the builder to keep track of things, make sure things are being built in in order and they can kind of build the neighborhood out as they desire. So keep in mind that these prices do adjust. Basically every single phase release typically sees a price increase of anywhere from five to $10,000 depending on market conditions. So the prices I'm giving you here today are as of today and they could go up here in the future. So use this as just a generic gauge for where prices will be going forward. All right, so prices here at Blossom. For the plan one, that is $510,000. I don't know where you can find a home that cheap anywhere in the Temecula Valley right now, let alone a new build. So great price there for the plan one. For the plan two, we've got $536,000. And for the plan three, $546,000. All right, so we just talked about all those prices. Now, another factor to consider before you consider the final sales price is, upgrades to the home. That's actually something when it comes to buying a new build that a lot of people don't consider. They see that amazing price point and they go, that's awesome, I'm going after that house. Well, that's actually just the base price. And the hard part here is that we just walked through some beautiful models. I'm sure you enjoyed walking through those as well. But the reality is that there are tons of upgrades in those model homes. And that's actually not what the standard base price home is actually going to look like. So when you're walking through those model homes, the flooring is an upgrade, the backsplash is an upgrade, the light fixtures are an upgrade. And actually a lot of those things are even artistic features that are put in, decorator features that are put in that actually aren't even available to be installed in those homes. So it is important to keep in mind that if you want it to look like the model home, number one, it probably can't look exactly like that because of some of those designer features. That would be something you'd have to do after the fact. But number two is that base price I just gave you is going to be significantly more if you add in all of those upgrades. Again, keep in mind the, the base price comes with a different flooring, a different backsplash, different appliance packages. There's all sorts of upgrades that are built in there and it's gonna depend a bit on each specific floor plan. So when we tour those homes with you, we walk through and point out each of those features that are an actual upgrade. And when it comes to actually making that purchase, you'll basically walk through with the sales process exactly what upgrades you want. And they're gonna kind of walk you through line by line about different upgrades that are available, what they're going to cost, all of that. So that changes over time as well. So for specific information on that, go ahead and reach out and we'll get you some additional details. And before we totally leave the price discussion, let's actually talk about solar here for a minute. So Southern California, it is actually required for new builders to have a solar uh, option on the home. And you actually can't decline this option. It basically just means you have the option to put panels on one of two different ways. You can either purchase panels for that property or you can lease those panels. So they're gonna offer you a purchase or a lease. If you purchase them outright, you own those panels for life, whatever they generate, it's basically goes right into canceling out that electric bill for you. If it's a lease, it's going to be for a number of years. You're going to pay a fixed monthly payment on those panels for the lease. And basically at the end of that lease, then the solar company is gonna come back, take those panels off the roof and up to you whether you, you could potentially buy them out at that point um, or you can, you can go ahead and uh, install some new technology. So uh, important things to, to consider there. The nice thing about the purchase option, which if you can afford it is really the best possible option for you there is to go ahead and purchase them. When it comes to new construction, the advantage is you can actually now roll this into the purchase price of the home. So yes, it does affect your monthly payment a little bit, but it's actually spread out over 30 years on that mortgage rather than buying those panels on you know a 20 year plan with the with the solar company and having to pay that more aggressive monthly payment so it's actually nice that you can buy them roll them into the monthly payment it's included in there and you own those panels for life and you get to take advantage of all of the benefits of solar next up let's talk about the community amenities so this is actually one of my favorite communities because it is really well thought out. They did a great job at Summer's Bend. Basically, this is a collective of multiple builders building Summer's Bend all together. So you're gonna see different builders just other than Woodside that have put this together, different neighborhoods. So there's some great selections from uh, small homes to large homes, senior homes to starter homes you name it, you've got it. There's even some luxury being added in here at the tail end of the build. And so 
the community offers a lot and everybody's pouring into that community as far as the HOA dues, which allow them to offer some really awesome features. So uh, you've got some great community features. There are miles of walking trails. If you love to be outdoors and you love the scenery that comes along with that, there are miles of trails for you to explore. And this isn't just miles of walking through neighborhoods. This is actually some preserved nature land that you can walk through, get to enjoy some beautiful views of uh, wide open plots of land, some rolling hills. You get to see the sky, to see the sunsets. It offers some really great views. Now we talked about some of the land, the wide open spaces there. That's actually preserved land. And so that means it's not going to be built on. And so there are dozens and dozens of acres here of preserved land that won't be built on, create some great nature, some great views, you get to see birds and wildlife and all that kind of stuff existing out there and that's a feature that you get included here as well now outside of that there are some beautiful sports parks you've got basketball courts you've got uh, softball and baseball fields with turf and lights they're beautiful fields they're absolutely brand new and that's what you're paying into with the hoa so uh, there's also turf soccer fields and you also get access to the clubhouse the gym the pool and there's even a barn area that you can rent out for parties and basically just a, a space for you to rent out and entertain guests as they come along so uh, for what you're paying for the hoa it may seem high there are lower hoas available throughout the temecula valley absolutely but all that goes into this community it's a clean community with tons to do basically like i said a really well thought out overall community the layout is great uh, the streets are great. You've actually got some roundabouts there that help slow down some of the traffic and eliminate needs for stop signs and some of those things. So just some unique features that are offered within the community that really make it worth it. And I think as you are touring some of these homes, we'll get to take you through some of those amenities and show you what those look like. They're absolutely beautiful. They've done a really good job, some modern design elements that make it a place that you absolutely wanna live. All right, and before we go, I always like to wrap these up with two tips for buying new construction. And don't leave without listening to these, please, because they're very, very important and can save you a lot of money and a lot of headache. Tip number one is you need to bring a real estate agent in with you on your very first visit to the sales office to walk through these models. So I just showed them to you here. Don't just go walk into the office by yourself if you do you are actually electing right off the bat to have no representation through the sale of that home. That means that you are actually working with the builder's agent, the builder's representative to walk through the sales process. And I always relate this to, may sound silly, but if you're going through a divorce, you're not going to hire your ex-spouse's attorney to represent you because they hired them first. And who's, re who's representing who there? They're representing the other person first. And so if you come to the equation, it becomes a different scenario. So if you want fair representation, somebody that's going to fight for you, you need to bring your real estate agent in with you on the very first visit. Please do not walk in there and hope that they're going to allow you to bring someone in later to the process. They are very stringent on that. If they're not there with you, you've now elected to use the sales office as your representation and the rest is up to you. Now tip number two, this is also where a real estate agent comes into play is there are tons of incentives that can be negotiated on your behalf. There are closing cost incentives, interest rate buy downs, appliance packages, upgrades to the home that can be negotiated. There are all sorts of things that we can work into those deals for you. And if you don't ask, you don't get. And if you're representing yourself, or again, if you're allowing the builder's representative to represent you through that process, you're probably not gonna get everything, right? They're a salesperson. They're not going to give you everything because they're probably incentivized not to give you everything. But if you're working with a real estate agent that comes in and negotiates on your behalf, Obviously, it's in our best interest to get you the best possible deal that we can on our side of things. So make sure that you negotiate to get the closing costs, the interest rate buy downs, the upgrades incentives, all of those pieces. We need to be asking some of those questions. Can the price be negotiated? What can we include here? You'd be surprised at some of the things that they will offer. I'm not going to share the number, but I just saw a huge credit that we were able to negotiate with one of our buyers on a new construction here locally in the area, and it would absolutely blow your mind. So if you're thinking about making one of these purchases, allow us to go through with you, walk you through the process, and ensure that we are there to negotiate for you to get you the best possible deal. 
that is it for our breakdown and neighborhood tour of this beautiful community here in Summers Bend by Woodside. They build some great homes. The models are beautiful. I love walking through them as I've shared with you in the past. They're some of my all time favorites as far as decor and ideas and all that kind of stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Leave us a comment below any questions you might have about living here in the Temecula Valley, about this community in specific, incentives that might be offered. Go ahead and leave a comment below and be sure as always to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Again, this channel is dedicated to all things Temecula Valley. These tours, neighborhood spotlights, telling you about all the new things coming here, what it's actually like living here. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos and we will see you next time.